You're listening to another New Carolina Radio exclusive. What up? It's your boy. The host with the most doing it big from coast to coast. The boss with hella sauce tea dot. And this is my co-host. <laughs> it's Brittany. And this is the Two Dirty Minds Podcast, episode 45. Today we coming live. We here. With the motherfucking bullshit. What bullshit? We ain't got no bullshit. I just fucking with you. Oh, shit. We finna be talking about sex workers. Freak hoes. They don't like to be called. Don't disrespect. You disrespect not ready. Why? Because they feel like they are entrepreneurs. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That's how they feel, man. It's a new day and age. Women don't need pimps no more. They out here, you know. That's what back pages well. They out there. Shit, they doing it on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Like, throw the cash like, app out there real quick. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Pimping has become a lost art for them now. Because right. women are doing it on their own. They like, I don't need you to right. manage shit, my... Shit, we fucking finna boss up shit. Shit. So if we can just get the money directly to us, and you don't got to go yeah. through somebody else, then... I mean, I ain't... I ain't... No, I ain't knocking the hustle of, of you know what I'm saying? If you feel like... Because there's different forms of sex works. You got porn stars. Mm. You got cam models. You got Cam models and porn stars are the same thing. No. See, that's what you're wrong at. See, when you're a cam model, you don't have to have nobody to have sex with you. I mean, you still have a sex with no, you. just have it no, with yourself. Not. That's not having sex, though. That if is. You, no, it's not. That's not having sex. If you... <laughs> By yourself, like you might. That's some, having sex with some yourself. Some women don't even be having sex, and they be getting money from these niggas. Like they. Well, what? The, well, 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 what I gotta do then? Because niggas be on that either. Show me your titties. Show me your feet. They love telling the motherfuckers show their feet. I don't what? understand that. Show your feet. So where I sign up for that? At? And you just gotta go up there and do it. Goddamn it. Go up go, where? You gotta go online. I have said I gotta go to the unemployment office. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I want to be a cam model. They gonna be like, if you don't get your ass, but you want to work on cars? What the fuck? <laughs> Man. You better take this day. I can't go transact and get your ass by my face. <laughs> Stupid as fuck. But for, like, for real, I need to figure out how to sign up for that shit. Just go on Google and type in cam model. Okay. You get, someone be on there just showing their titties. Someone be on there just showing feet. I'm like, this is a feet only channel right here. <laughs> just put yeah. the camera in my desk. That- Take my shoes off and rub dudes, my feet. And I'm together. saying, dudes, dudes, they got feet fetishes. They'll watch that okay, shit. Pay you. All right, then I need to go find out what they is. Some women, you know, you got the premium Snapchats now. They Bow. they take it over the, the cyber game, man. They got all kind of shit. Pornhub, you know, they got their little premium area now. If you get a certain amount of views and a certain amount of follows, all that shit, you get start getting paid from that. And then and that little check that's floating around is not a real check. For everybody is like, oh, I can make thirty thousand dollars and shoot porn. Yeah, man, get your stupid you ass out of here. You probably get about six dollars off this. <laughs> get about six dollars and a goddamn McDouble. Get your stupid ass yeah, out of here. You can't even cash that check. Dude. That shit gotta go straight down right to the pocket. <laughs> That's how most of these companies do it, though. It's they, gonna cost six dollars to send that shit to you. Yeah, yeah. That's usually how they do it now. But like, send it to my cash app. <laughs> strippers, they sex workers. They're called. Exotic call dancers? Stri- yeah, they're called exotic dancers. I mean, it depends on what you're doing, though. What you mean? An exotic dancer. I mean, I don't... So, do which one get full or naked? Do an exotic dancer get fully naked or do the stripper get full? I, I they're say, the same thing. No. Stripper, yes, they one are. Of them get, strippers and exotic dancers are the same people. One of them get butt booty naked. They doesn't keep the little thong on and make it give the illusion that they naked. They keep that little thin ass Nigga, that's the same shit. No, I'm talking about the one that get butt ass naked, bust it open, shoot a pool ball up. I mean, out of something listen. Like that. All of them are called exotic dancers. It just depends on what hood you go to or what club you go to that bust it open. Yeah, some of them don't do the, Some of them just do topless. Some of them just full nude. They just some fucking old I, white man cabarets. They be like, you can't. Just yeah, she don't kid. take the top off. <laughs> she don't even take, take she got a- the little pasties on there. <laughs> take it off. Take her ass around the onyx. They got bitches back there busting it open. Wide open. <laughs> Super soaking. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I ain't joking. But you wanna know something crazy though about me in strip clubs? I never paid a dime in a strip club. Have you ever been to a strip club? I done been to several strip clubs. Oh, I went okay. to I went to one of the fastest strip clubs I've ever seen in my Nigga, life. You went to Crazy Horse? Fuck no. Oh, yeah, I did go to Crazy Horse one night. Why the fuck were you at Crazy it, Horse? It, went, it wasn't a regular Crazy Horse night. It was like they had some chicks from out of town come to Crazy Horse. They got bitches coming to Crazy they, Horse. Hey, hey, man, you'll be surprised. Them bitches, wow. Bitches straight. I ain't pay a goddamn dime in it. 
Then I went to a nice one in Atlanta called Horseplay. That shit is nice as it fuck. It sound like some fucking white people shit. It was black girls in there. It wasn't no white girls. It was very, Didn't very... Then the ones that couldn't kick it and like... <laughs> nigga, I'm going to tell you the crazy <laughs> shit about it. They couldn't make the cut at the big strip clubs in Atlanta. No, it was. it's a big-ass strip club. That shit big as fuck. Oh, okay. And it's called it's what two now? two stories, nigga. Shit. Cameo? They got, they got a pool table. They got a motherfucking sushi bar over top of the goddamn Nigga, shit. they got sushi like swinging on the pole. What the fuck you mean? Nah, nah. I'm pretty sure it don't smell like sushi on the damn floor. Shit. Second floor. Stick your nose on that fucking pole. <laughs> who the fuck gonna do some shit like that, Jesse? I'm just saying. Who, who the hell gonna be going up there sniffing that goddamn crotch? I'm just saying. You on your goddamn... I, well, I've been... To, I mean, I've been to Onyx. I mean, been I don't really... Yeah. I ain't never been to Onyx or Nicky's. I, and I... You know, I go to like those little... You never been to what? Onyx or Nicky's. Mm-hmm. Okay. Neither one. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I've been to Onyx several times, but, um, and I've been to like those little places where they be having like little mail reviews and shit, you know? Are you talking about they having them goddamn lock, lock in, lockdowns, yeah. whatever the fuck it is? And they can come out there with the goddamn, with the dick in the sock. And of course, you know, them. like black women, you know, they have bachelorette parties or whatever, you know, little stripper coming in, throw some ass, you know. And throw, throw his goddamn dick in your face. Listen. They can have that dick in the sock, be throwing all it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all in your face. <laughs> like, I I mean, I'll watch that type of shit, but I man, don't fucking you don't touch me. You want to participate? Hell no. I don't want them motherfuckers touching me. Why you want that man throw that pipe in your Hell face? Hell no. First of all, because them, first of all, them men too fucking rough. That's how they Nigga, y'all, they y'all be y'all snapping like bitches' bras and shit. First of all, bitch, my bra's called, it. yeah, like pulling it. Listen, first of all, my motherfucking bra costs too much for you to be pulling and tugging on it, bitch. He ain't tugging. He just goddamn ripped that motherfucker off. Man, I went to one show. He told us he told a hole in this girl's goddamn pants. He was finna eat ass. I was like, "That's a part ma'am, of the show." Now you gotta walk around the rest of the, the evening with your ass out. That's a part of the show. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah. she, uh, she paid extra for their full experience. <laughs> goddamn. It's like when you go to the movies, you get the 3D glass, like extra three dollars. Nah, hell no. That's like when you go to Carowinds, you pay to get in that motherfucker, but then everything else you gotta pay for. That's how it is, man. Nigga, shit. Escorts. They Sizzle. just gonna date some shit, right? No, some of them do. See, see, that's what people got a misconception some about them, escorts. Some, some of them, they actually do be fucking fuck. and sucking. That's prostitution, nigga. Uh, duh. What the fuck you think of escorts? Well, stop calling the fucking escort, then. That's the proper escort term. Escort me. I escort your ass to dinner. That's we eat I and I escort them, the that's fuck why I back. Say some of them don't have sex. Some of them, like, I'm just going to, like, some old some rich com- motherfuckers. Somebody, somebody need a companion. Yeah, they just they actually want companionship. Like, they just want to go on a date, take you out, show you off. Like, like being a sugar baby almost. What the fuck do I sign up for that? You don't sign up for none of this shit because you want to fucking suck, Jesse. That's why. You can't never be that. Which is, I want to do what? You want to fucking suck. You no, can't... I don't want to do that. No, you got to. No, I want, I'm, no. No, that's your requirement. No, I don't want to do that's that. That's your requirements. No. Hell no. You I wouldn't sign doing, a contract like that. You don't get to go out there for free and and take lavish trips and get your school and pay so for So you it. ain't trying to... Never mind. Anyway. Not me. I ain't paying <laughs> well, for a goddamn... Why would you say that then? I ain't paying for a goddamn thing. Anyway. I mean, you, end up, you pay for it in the long run. If you date somebody, you paying for it. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, I mean, prostitution... Prostitution is the oldest goddamn trade in the world. I wonder who was the first prostitute. The first woman to prostitute? Mm-hmm. Wasn't she in the Bible? Mary Magdalene, she was just a hoe. <laughs> the same shit. <laughs> was she getting like... I'm someone, pretty sure she was I, getting chips. She was getting goddamn God fed everybody that fish and bread. She got an extra piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did she hit the train pussy for frankincense? <laughs> frankincense and myrrh, goddamn. <laughs> what the fuck is myrrh? What is myrrh? <laughs> she paid, she traded that pussy for some myrrh. Hit the block <laughs> with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> now look at her. <laughs> That's the original Tatiana. But you, yeah, but you got to think about it. God was her friend. Uh, he was a pimp. God was no damn. I don't, Jesus was not her friend. Jesus was a pimp. I'm not about to do this with you. I'm just saying. I'm you got, I'm, hey, stay woke, my brother. I'm not going to hell with you. You better stay woke. I'm not going to hell with you. You, you got to look, look at the Bible, man. It's a lot of stuff you can relate to in the real world. Like, she was a whore. and She Jesus, was a, a whore. But Jesus was supposed to be her friend. Come on, man. That boy was was Mary Magdalene and Jesus even friends? Yes, they were friends. Who told you that? First Jesus of all, even, Jesus was no, either paying for that pussy. I don't even. Or he th- was supplying the block with the pussy. I don't even know what you're talking about. Think about <laughs> it. Think about it. Why he, are we listen, talking about this? 
<laughs> he fed the whole village with fish and bread. The whole village? The whole village, nigga. With fish and bread. Fish and bread. Fish and chips? Pussy and money. You know what I mean? Got to flood the block with it. Oh, my God. Shut up. Fish and bread. Y'all... Y'all got to stay woke, man. Y'all fucking is Oh, my God. You cannot interpret the Bible like that. I, te- I interpret it how I see it. You you going to hell. That's how I see <laughs> you it. You are going to I'm hell. I'm telling you, God love it. If God love it, he, he loved everybody from the whole to he the drug supplied. dealers. He the block. Fed, they say he fed them. He fed the whole block. With, Jesus threw a block party. First of all, it said two fish. It was two hoes. It was her and one of her friends. God had the escort service. First escort service. Boom. Got him. Five loaves of bread. Man, that nigga had five racks on him. That's what that was. He gonna need more than five racks to feed everybody? He fed the block with five racks. You can feed the block with five racks. It just depends on what block it is. <laughs> you can feed the block with five racks. God had a, a half a Shut bird and flooded the streets with it. <laughs> you fuck? stupid, y'all. I'm telling you, sex work. I, I support he that shit, He does not though. speak At for first, both of us. I don't interpret first, the Bible the same way like, he does. At first, I used to be like, man, these girls that had said them pussy, they're fucking stupid. Da, 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 da. But then you think about it, you're like, uh, you know, it ain't that bad because <laughs> at the end of the day, you go either pay for it or not get it. That's like with anything, they, they providing a the service. You know what I'm saying? The barter system. I, Goods and service, supply and demand. They supplying pussy, niggas demanding it. <laughs> And she demanding that motherfucking gas and exactly. getting it. Exactly. But some of these women ain't even having to fuck nothing. See, that's what I'm saying, though, man. If I could run across a dumbass motherfucker. Niggas getting too smart for that shit now. Damn. All that cash app and fly me up, man. Fly your ass. I'll give you a one-way ticket to hell. I'm about to fuck on a lot of fire. I ain't fucking sugar daddy or something. Find your sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. The sugar daddy you find probably going to want some damn sugar. Y'all wouldn't be tripping thinking these men don't want nothing in return. I get his old ass something to make him go to sleep. He gonna forget all about it. Boy, she gonna wake up the next day like, hey. When he wake up, I ain't gonna be there. And you gonna need him I'm again, gonna be though. I'm gonna in the car that he fuck about me. Nah, you gonna need him again. Trust it, and believe that because he gonna be like, you know what? That ain't my car no more. He gonna, he gonna send that bitch back to the goddamn dealership. Really? And they will come snatch that motherfucker up from you. Knowing you can't afford it, Jesse. Anyway, sex worker. That's what it's called, man. That's not sex worker. The women on Twitter, they be going crazy about that shit, how men be treating, because men be talking down on women who, you know what I'm saying, who sell pussy and... But it's some niggas out here selling dick, too. Hey, man. (laughs) What? What? Get it how you live. Shit. Damn. All of, all, the only thing that, that get me is, bro, just strap up. If you, Whether you're a man or woman, you're selling your body. Right. Just Yeah, and keep yourself, yourself checked out and all that good shit. Protect your neck. <laughs> Wu-Tang said that you got to protect your neck. I'm so dumb, just playing. I'm just saying. Anyway. You got to keep faith. You gonna be a, Would you be a sex worker? What I said is dick. <laughs> like, okay, like any... Oh, what, would I be a stripper or a cat? Yeah. Okay, I do all this shit. Fuck it. Get that cash. <sighs> I'd be See? a cam model. Like, you ain't got to do nothing. If you're a cam model, you get to sit at home. You ain't got to worry about nobody. You know what I'm saying? This sounds interesting. I'm going to have to look into that because I'd be I'm damn. telling you, bruh, these women are sitting online, taking their clothes off, niggas sending them money. If they got an Amazon wish list, they put up the wish list. Niggas will buy shit off your wish list if you if you doing what no, they like. No, they gonna have to send it to me. Okay, Mm-mm. you get a PO box, jackass. Mm-mm. Then you gotta worry about it. I'm you ain't gotta give motherfuckers your home address. Oh, they don't get my home address. You give a motherfucking PO box. You send all the gifts and shit here. They might want. They might want some of your used panties. They selling used panties now. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> used panties straight off the ass. No, put them in the you. mail. I'm telling you, you got got she just got goddamn packages over here ready to ship off. Yeah, I'm telling people are buying I'm these you, motherfuckers. Is look crazy. online, you will see all these little stories about what people doing. <sighs> mm. Last night, I was searching the web. I ended up, on, I started on one end and then that end up all the way across goddamn town somewhere. Somewhere, yeah, no fucking business. Exactly. <laughs> wow. I ended up on an escorting site because I was on Twitter scrolling. And I seen the goddamn ad wow. for some woman. 
And I went to the website where they was goddamn where she was like, oh, you can go in here and look. Like they have an actual review site for escorts. Like niggas will put in what where they went over there, what the woman looked like, uh, what she performed on him, what she was wearing. God damn. Uh if you had a complaint about something, like what they got said, a complaint section for the yeah, escorts? Yeah, God nigga, damn. Niggas say he went over there. The girl looked like she's supposed to look. She took clothes off. Everything was good. He got what he got. Say the only complaint he had, she had a bunch of clothes piled up in the corner of the room. <laughs> I say, damn. What the fuck, sir? Was, hey, there's something wrong with her washing machine. What the fuck? She had time to wash the clothes. She was getting that money. But he right. said, overall, it was a wonderful experience. So that that right. means that nigga got his balls sucked. I guess them clothes didn't mean shit at the end of the day. Right. Well, it actually did mean something because he complained about it. What the fuck we could... Anyway. Let me see. Would I be but a yeah. stripper? Would you be a stripper? Yeah, I would. I gotta lose a little bit of the stomach first. Shit, them big girls out there stripping like that. What the fuck? Now. That's it. You don't be seeing them little things online on Twitter and Instagram and shit. I just need to know why they I need to sign up. Maybe having them little uh, them big girl uh, lock ins and shit. I'm gonna have me. A, I'm. Be, you know what? I'm about to have me two thirty miles. Gonna have a BBW party. All all kind of bitches. What and the niggas that love us. Then we're going to turn into some escorts. Turn into a big-ass orgy in there. Oh, bitch. no. It's going to smell like bacon in there. It's goddamn fall. <laughs> you stupid as fuck. Fuck you, bitch. I'm coming to that bitch with the goddamn uh, jumpsuit on old McDonald's <laughs> You are... You know what? I'm done with you. Coming to that bitch like old McDonald's. Y'all already know it's you. going down. I would be a stripper. Would you be a porn star? <clears throat> you say what I do with what now? Would you, would you be a porn star? What no. I would. I wouldn't because they get tested more than normal I, people. I like, understand that. Bitch, you have tested. that's a that's a, that's a prerequisite. Bitch, you can't apply here unless you bring your paperwork with you. No, most people get well, you're supposed to get tested every six months. They get tested like every, every three, every, every 90 days. Them motherfuckers get tested every month. What? Every every month. If, you, if you got a a shoot coming up with somebody. Yeah. But a lot of porn stars starting to use condoms. Like, I, like, I would use a condom too. I don't give a I fuck. I mean, you know, a few years ago, didn't nobody give a fuck about using no damn condoms in porn. They was just straight raw doggy. Nigga, I watch amateur porn anyway. They don't never use condoms. That shit's sad. <laughs> this day never, never. Then you go on there, motherfucker got the clap. Oh, that young boy. Straight goddamn hurt. That's syphilitis. See, I would be a stripper. I got to figure out what my song going to be. Your song? Yeah. You know every stripper got a signature song. Man, my, my good motherfucking stripper song going to be uh, Dick in a Box. What the fuck is that? You have to go look it up. Dick in a Box? Go look that shit up. You're going to be dying laughing when you see the video. Shh. You so, seen on Players Club <laughs> when Tricks came out and stuff like, it's some hoes in this house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was you, that was gonna be your song? Hell no! Gonna, Bitch, uh, no. What the fuck you trying to say? We gonna get you uh, LMA booed up? No, booed up. What the? Yep. Fuck? That ain't no damn stripper song. I mean, it can be. No, the fuck it can't. Diamond strip the motherfucker. R. Kelly seem like you're ready. <laughs> See what so, the hell he at now? <laughs> damn, was she like 17, 18 when? She yeah, was, she was in college, uh, like she out of high school. See what I'm saying? They tried to put some shit over, tried to pull some one over on us. Goddamn, R. Kelly, goddamn. This is way back. <laughs> tried, yeah. to pull, tried to put a wool over our eyes. <laughs> oh, look, R. Kelly got some sex workers at his house. <laughs> Wait, is they getting paid? Or... Yeah, they getting well. The their parents they getting paid, yeah. Yeah, somebody getting paid out Them the pimp, pimp. them the new pimp. I, I told you. But, that, but pimping is becoming a lost art. It used to be so wonderful. Shit, R. Kelly bringing that shit back. Nah, that ain't type of pimping. I'm talking about. I'm talking what about kind of pimping real, you talking about? That real pimping. You talking about that Bishop Don Juan pimping? Yeah, that Bishop Don Juan. Green soup? R- real pimps. Real pimping. Real stomp downs. So pimp, you have a real bottom. Name you have back. a real bottom bitch. Oh, God. That's What's the a one, bottom bitch? That's the one that make all the damn money. Oh, that's. She, she top dog pretty oh, okay, much. Okay, okay. That's the bottom bitch. It's mm. real pimping. Mm. Can't violate. What you mean? You can't. You reckless eyeballing. It's a violation. Oh my god! I don't know nothing about hoes. I'm finna teach you, nigga. It ism time. Like I told you, them isms finna drop. I don't Re- know reckless, that reckless hoes. eyeballing. What that mean? You can't be looking at no other pimp. You got to keep your damn eyes to the floor when you walk with the a pimp. What the fuck? 
Yeah. Oh hell no. That's what pimp. That's some. What some pimps do. You can't. You can't look nobody in the eye. You gotta look. Look at the ground. <laughs> You know, wait, if you start just, you start wrecking his eyeball, you said, then you're looking everywhere. Wait, when you said look at the girl, it remind me of the old man from Walmart. <laughs> that boy said you looking for something. He, he regular, he, his wife told him you can't be wrecking his eyeball. Oh my god, that's a violation. Now that could that could be punished by several things. What you mean? Like she can get beat up. Oh, that's not nice. She might not get a, the right, you know what I'm saying? You know all the money. He going to buy come. no new clothes? Yeah, he might not buy no new shoes or something for a month. Yeah, you know? he might not even pay her. She going to get tricking all night. He ain't going to get no money. Not a damn dime. God damn. That's a violation. That's for reckless eyeballing. Because cause you, if you, like, say if it's a pimp, his hoes, and he talking to another pimp, if you looking at him, that's going to get your pimp the indication that you trying, what you trying to do? You trying to take my bitch? You trying to break my bitch? Huh? That what you trying to do? I don't know anything about none of this shit. That's when a pimp try to take your your girl. Oh, you a pimp? One of, you know one of your girls. You you been pimp? I watch before? a lot. I watch a lot of pimp movies and pimp documentaries and shit. Pimp shit movies. So, it's so fascinating to me. I don't know why. I just love that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? You are a little pimp in training? I ain't no pimp in training, you motherfucker. A I ain't never been no <laughs> damn. He a pimp. I ain't never been no pimp in training. Blue I came, face I came out the motherfucking womb. The womb breathing life to this pimp shit. Oh my god. But if you think about pimp, pimps ain't nothing but manipulators, bro. Exactly. Abusive ass motherfuckers. They just manipulators. They just know how to get into a motherfucker's mind and make them believe something that ain't really. Every time somebody says something about a pimp, you seen the movie He Got Game? No. You never seen He Got Game? Talking about with Jesus Shuttleworth? Yeah. I never watched it. But oh I my God. It's not going to be funny to you if you've never seen it. Okay then. You fu- you're fucking whack. But pimps are the coolest motherfuckers on work. Like, like how the fuck are pimps cool? The lingo, the the style, the way they, you know, what I'm the saying? fucking old gator ma- ass shoes and shit. No, how they maneuver. You know what I'm saying? It's just the the you like the, snakes. What the fuck you mean? They don't maneuver like snakes. Some some pimps are kind. Don't do that. What? Who a kind pimp? Don Juan was a kind pimp. Don Juan was just being nice so he can be in videos and shit. He was a kind pimp. Unless she, unless I've she never violated. seen him with any unless, bitches though. Unless she violated, because he was pimping way before we was fucking born. So he still should have had some pimp. Had, I mean, some hoes. He had them on his track. We was goddamn before we was born. Had the hoes on the So stone. is he retired? I think so. I think he did retire. How the fuck did, did you get? You, it, you step out of the game, you blow him out of here. I'm letting these young boys have it. Same way like basketball, football, anything else. When you're done, you're done. But when he was really pimping, when he was out there pimping hard, he had him on a stroll at 40 below, pimping in the snow. Like a mad Russian. Y'all can see my face. She gonna right get now. that motherfucking cash and get that ass whipped. <laughs> what the fuck? So don't What's slip. that was a pimp too? Who? Uh, DJ Hustle the Flow. Uh, nah. <laughs> he was a pimp. I mean, he, was he was a pimp. White he was girl. a pimp, but it was just so. It was like, damn, that's a struggle. That's a struggle to end up being a pimp, ain't it? <laughs> that's a struggle pimp. Yeah, that ain't the, that that a great like, value like, pimp. Yeah, that's a great value of some shit. That's that, yeah, damn, <laughs> that Southern Home. <laughs> Southern Home pimp. You know what I'm saying? Like Bishop Don Juan and all that. It's like Sam's Club pimping. You know what I'm saying? You she got motherfuckers like that. Sam's Club pimping. That's like testing the merchandise shit like that. This nigga. Wow. These niggas had about their goddamn DJ had out there in the damn cold sucking dick for a microphone. Ah, him being charged. <laughs> what she was saying. Had in charge. He had second dick for a microphone. For a microphone at the pawn shop. <laughs> that got to be the ter- the most terriblest thing. Damn. Then the other the other hoes he had one of me kicked out because she got pregnant by a trick. Then the other and he got her pregnant. What? He had three hoes: the white girl, the one that was a stripper. He kicked her out. When he put the baby on the porch in the damn walker. I remember. Oh, you say, oh yeah, huh? And then the other one, he the one that bought him the lamp, that was the one he got pregnant. I mean, I think, was, was, I don't I think he thought it was just his pregnant. girlfriend. Yeah, he didn't get none of them pregnant. No, that, she was a hoe too. She got knocked <laughs> up by a trick too. You don't know that. That what he said. She said that. Anyway. That's why you if you out here hoeing, you gotta protect your neck. For you get knocked up by one of your tricks and you don't know who it is. I'm about to be a pimp. You ain't got it in well, you. Well, it's not a pimp. It's called a madam. You ain't got it in you. How the fuck you gonna tell me you what I got in me? You gotta be cold-blooded. Shit. You gotta be Kobe. 
Michael Jordan, you can't be LeBron out of this bitch. You got to be motherfucker. He go with Jordan his basketball shit. You got to be Jordan or Kobe. Huh? Mamba huh? mentality, the killer instinct. You got you can't show no remorse. I don't. Yeah, you do. What the fuck I don't. You're too kind. Who's kind? One of them, one of them little hoes go out there break a damn shoe. You go, oh my god, I can't believe you broke. You ain't got. Bitch, you better you. tell her here like the other one, see? make some flip flops out that bitch. See? You see, you too kind. I'll told take both ball bare feet, bitch. Get that money. <laughs> fuck wrong with you. Oh my god. You ain't got it in you. Oh my god. Maybe one day you'll be like me. Be Nigga, great. this shit say from the economics of prostitution study. Motherfucker getting their paper. It shows that pimps and sex traffickers rake in between five thousand and thirty two thousand dollars per week. Nigga. With an average of five workers. They make more money but, than a uh, doctor. But but they got a high turnover rate. <laughs> But they make more money than a motherfucking doctor, lawyer in a year. Well, that's five that you said five to thirty-two. Yeah, a week. Mm-hmm. Nigga, a week. Where do I sign up to be a pimp? That's sixty G's in a month. Shit, dollar bill wasn't even making it. <laughs> dollar bill wasn't making shit. No, damn, I'm fucking my math. I would fuck off. Yeah. My math is totally wrong. You been smoking that shit? Hell no. Pro- prostitution is That's $128,000 a month. Listen, he say he's not profitable. Who? Wow, prostitution. It ain't profitable. Yeah. For who? On mm. which end? This motherfucker say... I mean, on which end? The, the pimp or the hoe end? Uh, it, it don't say. I mean, well, I'm pretty mean, sure it's safe, but I'm not reading when I told, oh, but I'm a story about me going through the internet last night. You, you went through an escort? I didn't go through an escort. Oh. I went on the damn site and shit to see oh. what... That's where I got the topic of the show from. These women was charging $300 a half an hour. Shit, I'm looking at them shit right here and so said these motherfuckers charge $150 an hour. What the fuck kind no, of bitches this, you been this talking This woman was charging $350 for a half an hour. That bitch must got that washing machine mouth. And if you wanted to stay overnight... It was two two grand. Shut the fuck up. Just to spend the night for a fucking sleepover? I mean, ain't no damn sleep. What time is checkout time? I don't think you'll be sleeping. I don't think she did a lot of sleeping. Shit. Shit is crazy. I mean, that's for them upper, you know, it's them upper um, escort services. That's the ones you you got to goddamn go through a operator and shit. That's you got to call it's, the goddamn toll free number. It's ran like an actual business. Shit, let's Mm-mm. I can't. I can't go into prostitution. They need. They need uh, like a DoorDash for hoes. Shut the like fuck that. up. They need something like that for hoes. Why? Because they they more safer. The heck, Craig is here. No, I'm just saying. Think about it. DoorDash for hoes, like a delivery service for hoes. So you can go in there and order, order a hoe. You order a hoe and get a brunt to your house. You ain't even got to go nowhere. You stupid. Or get a web yet. Uh, you know who the first pimp was? The first pimp? Yes. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Iceberg Slim. Oh, yeah. Iceberg Slim, that nigga. Uh, he was cold-blooded. Cold-blooded? Cold-blooded. Like on goddamn uh, house party. Cold-blooded man. <sighs> All these pimps and hoes. Hey man, either you go, you gonna be one or the other. Which one? Which end of the stick you want? Nigga, I'm gonna be a pimp. That's that's life. Like if you look at like actual life, life is pretty much pimp and hoe. <laughs> you go to work, you're a hoe. Whoever owned that what? company, that's the pimp. Well, goddamn, I be getting pimped out. Exactly, you've been getting pimped out for years. You stupid, shut up. In your relationship, you're gonna be the pimp or the hoe. Nigga, what the fuck? You getting shut up? You know what you is. The fuck you trying to say, ho? You already know. I don't know. Say it so you I can no jump across the table, bushing you, no, you ain't no motherfucking mad Russian. A who? A mad Russian. <sighs> anyway, you ain't got the ice in your veins. I'm about to start a strip club. I'm gonna be the new dollar bill. I already said me and my boy had a strip club when we was in high school. Y'all had a strip club. Where? We didn't have an actual strip club, but we went through the school passing out applications for a strip club. 
Shut the fuck up. I promise you, we made. I don't remember that. We made a fucking application for a strip club in high school. That that sounds like it has that written all over it. Of course, it's me and me and Charles did that shit. We passed I, I, them out. The only the only reason, like, I Lord we, Jesus, we printed out like forty, and these girls actually filled the shit out. They trying to get that money. They was trying to go to college. We wouldn't pay no goddamn body. What the fuck? They didn't know that. That shit was a fucking joke. Again, and then I think one of the principals, and I think one of the principals got the hold of one of them, but they never found out who did it to this day. They gonna find out now. I wouldn't give a fuck. It's too late now. Statue of limitations is off, baby. <laughs> And got, he, hey, he checked that shit out. The statue, some of the statute of limitations. You need to be smacked, bro. Why would I need to be smacked? Because I keep it real? Anyway. Because I'm too real for this industry? Too, too, you know, you... That's why. You know what? I'm going to talk. I'm, I how, need to have a talk to some said, sex how, workers. How to spot a pimp. <laughs> how to spot a pimp. You, you can't spot one nowadays because they don't dress like they used to. Oh, pimps shit. look normal. You said pimps look normal. Yeah, pimps dress normal now. They don't be with the the gaudy, flashy stuff like back in the day. Some of them still do, but most of them they just dress normal because they trying to keep a low profile. Because the cops are trying to crack down on pimping and pandering. How do pimps choose their women? Uh, she got to be able to go get that money. She got to look nice. She got to have a good uh, ankle support because she's going to be out standing out there on that track all goddamn day. That nigga said good ankle support. She's going to be out there on that track, so you got to give her some good shoes. Wow. Can't be on the stroll in no Jimmy shoes. Nigga, what? You can't be on the That's stroll. That's for the escorts. You, yeah, you can't be on no <laughs> That's stroll. That's for the escorts. You can't be on no stroll in no Jimmy shoes. Flip-flops. <laughs> nah, on gotta, and off. <laughs> nah, she got can't have on them goddamn flip flops, man. What the fuck she have on? Then? I seen a uh, a woman on this Facebook video. She was a whore. She was like a real whore. Yeah, she was a real prostitute. She was standing on the corner, and the dude was interviewing her. And uh, she say, "Was that the woman from Texas?" I think so. Once you talking about if it's hot, you get the twenty dollars special. <laughs> if, you know what I'm saying? If it's too hot, you might get that twenty dollars special. If it's like a normal day out, you know what I'm saying? It's like 40 for head, 40 for something like that. And she was like, uh, she was like, all catch, no mess. Know what that mean? They be swallowed all in there. Like guzzling. Washing the machine mouth. Cock guzzle. Oh my God, she said what now? She said, if it's hot out, so you're getting that $20 special. Because she want to get that cool air in that car. If it's like real hot outside. Oh, so she's going to do it in the car? What the fuck else she gonna do? I mean, you can... picking up off a, on a corner, my nigga. I mean, some niggas pick the bitches up and they go to little nah, motels and nah, shit. Nah, that's when you paying. That's when you put pushing out a little bit more money than what you normally would push out for. That's on the that's an on the corner hole. You just pick up, take away. You gotta go get it in and bust get going. Down. Tatiana, <laughs> I want to see you bust down quick. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, Hollywood been doing that shit for years, though. The casting couch. Where you think that shit come from? Anyway. <laughs> where you think that come from? People want to be famous. You got to get bust down. That's why Harvey, well, that's why Harvey Weinstein's ass in trouble now. Oh, shit. Goddamn. Trying to cast the couch motherfuckers that don't want to be on the couch. R. Kelly. I mean, I'm trying care. to people want to get tired, famous. Oh, he's gonna mo- I'm gonna be his backup I'm singer. I'm tired of talking about that motherfucker. Fuck him. He'll Damn. be all right. Don't 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 do that man like that. Man, fuck him. He he done He what? 30 years. That's what he said. <laughs> motherfucker, you about to get 30 years. That's what they about to get you. I'm just gonna pray for that man. So fuck was... that man. Damn. Straight like that. Yeah, he shouldn't have been out here doing what he was doing with him. You don't know if he was doing it or not. His own lawyer said he was guilty. Hey. Well, the lawyer. <laughs> exactly. You can't defend that motherfucker. Well, sir. Hey, well, say my job here is done. They can flame his ass now. God damn. Mm, mm, mm. Sex trafficking. That shit is terrible. They made sex workers. That's fucking kidnapping. Nigga, them sex shit. slaves. Yeah. That shit is crazy. You know, some women like the dominatrix and all that. Like people like some women like being submissive women. Like that's what they do. No, I'm gonna pass on 
Like I seen a video where this dude was this woman's dominant. No. Like he put his foot on the back of her neck and shit. The fuck? He stood on her back. I was He's gonna like, get scoliosis. <laughs> he was trying to got like he was smacking in the face and shit. And she was liking that shit though. I never understood that shit. What submissives? That like the shit. Fifty Shades of Grey type. It was yeah, gray, no, gray type tie me shit. up the shit. Don't smack me. Don't hit me. Bitch, hit me. I'm here too bad. Would you? I, you'll probably be a dominatrix. You probably will do some stupid shit like that. You want to <laughs> beat on a nigga? Kick I mean, him in the he balls. want me to whoop his ass. I yeah, whoop his some, ass. Someone be wanting to talk shit to him, whoop I, his ass. Bitch, that's up my alley, sir. What the fuck are you doing? See what I'm saying? Get your ugly ass over here. <laughs> some dumb shit like that. So you two goddamn goofy to do that stupid <laughs> no, shit. I ain't. You two no, goddamn, I ain't. you'll be laughing and shit. Them niggas be wanting to, they want that serious ass whooping. I mean, if they want to fight, hell, I fight shit. Not fucking fight them, motherfucker. Oh. Like you might hit him with a whip or paddle. I seen a woman paddle this nigga ass, bro. She hit this nigga like twelve times. Nigga shit about to bleed. I oh say, motherfucker, God. you crazy as hell. You better not. <laughs> Hey, you know some your white... ass are you had to sit up off the chair. You know some white people shit because ain't no black man for letting no woman. Of course beat not. Beat on his goddamn ass. We're hell not I'm... racist, by the way. <laughs> hell no, I ain't racist. I'm hitting all kinds. <laughs> all kinds of ladies. No, all colors. All care. colors. I don't give a damn. All of us. Everybody black when the lights go off anyway. Not really. Boy, shit, you turn them lights off. Everybody black. Nigga, you black already. Of course, that's what they like. Who the fuck is they? The ladies. Who the fuck else? Oh, my God, y'all. That should have been a sex worker. Should have been an uh, escort, male escort. For these older ladies, they ain't got no man or nothing. They just lonely. Need some company. I come chill with you. We watch Matlock. You know what I mean? Crickets. Golden Girl. <laughs> I y'all this. I my take, best friend is slow, I y'all. take you to motherfucking bingo. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I go to bingo my damn self. Shit. I take an old man to the park, go get some ice cream and shit. Yeah. Go to your goddamn grandkids, raglass plays and shit. <laughs> I show They're up. like, who's that big black guy with grandma? Motherfucker, I'm your grandma's bodyguard. Shut your damn mouth and get your ass on the stage. <laughs> you know, first of all, you wouldn't get no old white woman. You see what that old white woman did to you at Walmart? <laughs> I ain't worried about that. You're right, because I'd be in the pocket already. Just have time to cover the goddamn pocketbook. Yeah, I don't want to cover the pocketbook I'm so all, fucking quick. I'm already in the pocket. You horrible. That bitch ain't had nothing but some goddamn prune juice in there anyway. I want that shit. Really? Damn bowels back there, bitch. I want to steal nothing from you. You, bro, you stinking ass. <laughs> the fuck? You're going to be her companion. That means you got to wipe her ass. Hey, it is what it is. You gonna wipe an old woman's ass? Somebody had to wipe my ass when I was a baby. Nigga, she... anyway. That's the circle. That's the circle of life. Nigga, but you You're a baby, somebody gotta wipe your ass. You get old, you wipe your own ass. You get real old, somebody gotta wipe your ass again. <sighs> it's the circle of life. This nigga. This nigga wanna be a sex worker, but sex worker that wipes ass. Okay, whatever. You got to do, I mean I'm not wiping nobody's ass. You can't be my sugar list, and that's a Hey. That's gonna be one of the requirements. You gotta shit off yourself. Bro, it's like old people pissing. It all depends. You know what, man? Bye. You a hater? How? Because a nigga trying to get money. You you knocking my dreams. <laughs> if y'all could see my face right now. Oh shit! You knocking my dreams, man. From being a shit wiping sex worker. I don't want to be a shit wiping sex worker. Oh, you just want to be a sex worker? First and worker. foremost, that woman ain't going to be that goddamn old. She might. I doubt it. I'm she not, might. I got age requirements. I got a limit. If you AARP, I can't do it. <laughs> AARP? Shit, that got some good ass benefits. But that ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> My goddamn benefits might, not what, mine. So what if they get ready to croak and they leave some shit to you? Oh, you got to drop me in the wheel, baby. I got you. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference, though. It ain't just I'm just getting paid for that. I'm saying if I'm... If she put me in the wheel, you already know. Go ahead and drop me in that wheel. You know, I got you. How you want that ass wipe? You want these goddamn flushable joints or you want some goddamn baby Scott, wipes? Just, what you want? Tissue. You know what I mean? I get you a cloth diaper, bitch. What the fuck you want? A cloth? You know what? You be real you know gentle what? on your ass. I think I am a sign up to be a stripper. Where I go to? I know I didn't, I didn't think going to give me no job. That, what? 
Oh, yeah, because they, they hire the thick ones. Shit. With the fake butts. Well, most strip clubs hire fake booty bitches now. Like, I don't want to touch no damn bricks. Some of them shits be looking disgusting. That's because they get it done at the wrong damn place. And like they cousin and grandma they do it, and do it. they do it. They put too much. You gotta even. You gotta spread that shit out. You see, when the doctor be doing it for real, they spread the fat out around the ass. They don't put it in. Y'all putting it right in the middle pole, so the middle be plump. Then the bottom pole, you like you like a fucking couch leg, you like the arm of that fucking couch over there. <laughs> this shit is sticking stupid. out one goddamn way, and then it's straight. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that type of shit. But um, I really think I could be a stripper if I lose this little tummy I got here. Nah, man, you got you got to know how to dance. You ain't got bitch. No I know fu- how to you dance. You ain't got no fucking rhythm, Jesse. Who ain't got no rhythm? I've seen you dance. Bitch, not the beat. You ain't got no fucking. rhythm. Where the fuck you seen me dance at? You ain't got no damn rhythm. Where the fuck you have you never, seen me dance? I could be a stripper. Cause I I do. I, you ain't gonna do the big one and do a little stupid blue face dance. <laughs> That's that helicopter dick. What the fuck you talking about? Helicopter dick? Oh, hell yeah, no. You gotta look it up. I'm telling you. I'm, no. I'm a pass on that. I'm telling you. Helicopter dick? Nah. Made that dick pop right in their face. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I almost just died. <sighs> Me and so, just like that. And on that note, <laughs> I almost died, y'all. Social media time, man. man. No, social y'all, media y'all time. Y'all almost just killed me. <laughs> social media time, man. What's <laughs> your social media? Man, y'all can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Kirby and Confident. Kirby with a K in like nigga, <laughs> and Confident with a K. You can find us on Instagram at Two Dirty Minds Podcast and on Facebook. Just type in Two Dirty Minds Podcast. You already know you can find me at T. The Boss on everything Instagram, T. Underscore The Boss, Snapchat and Twitter, T. The Boss, SoundCloud, T. The Boss. Also, follow the show on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. New shows dropping every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's on all your streaming platforms iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, all that good shit, man. And we about to start us up Two Dirty Minds Premium Snapchat so we can become some sex workers. We're going to be sex workers, We're going to be sex workers. We're going to drop our cash app for y'all and everything. You know what I'm saying? Wood Wood Wednesdays. I'm dropping straight dick y'all on you. Y'all know I'm coming through with the Titty Tuesday, Thick Thigh Thursdays, all that good shit. Man, I only got one day. What? I only got one day Wood Wednesday. I'm dropping that dick off. <laughs> That's it. Meet, meet Mondays. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Don't be coming up with no Come extra on, Meet shit. Monday. Don't be coming up with no extra yeah. shit. I'm going to put a bow tie on my dick. It's going to be formal. <laughs> <laughs> formal. Formal Fridays. Fuck that. I'm done. Oh, formal Fridays. I'm done. Man. Anyway, if I'm serious, but I'm coming through on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You catch me on the premium Tuesdays and Thursdays. Assed out sadness. Assed out. That, that's sweet. Mm-mm. You right? <laughs> Let me... We ain't doing that now. <laughs> I mean, hey. We ain't putting no pussy on the goddamn shit. Hey, depending on what you dropping that cash out. You, like, you got to pay. <laughs> you got to pay to play, bitches. Like you David Buster. You got to pay. David Buster, bitch, you need to play card. <laughs> A.K.A. your debit card. We need all the cash. <laughs> <laughs> your debit card. We need the debit card. Oh, you can get it out of PayPal, man. They got PayPal. Oh, yeah. Money. I mean, shit, that's cool, too. All that shit works. All that good shit. Trying to be a sex worker in these streets, man. Right. Y'all just be on the lookout for that two dirty miles premium. And catch me on the corner slinging dick. He feeding, he feeding the block. Feeding, feeding he the feeding needy, the block with feeding the needy <laughs> with the meaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh man, we're done, oh, man. man. We out of here. Bye.